tonight, a 28-year-old woman is behind bars after police say she killed a man last night in downtown Jacksonville Beach near the fishing pier. Akia Price is charged tonight with second-degree murder, accused of shooting him in front of the restaurant. Cheyenne Cole is on our side tonight, and she joins us live from the Duval County Jail, and she's been digging into this all day. Tell us what else you've learned this evening. Well, Jeannie, a police report says Akia Price has spent time as both an employee and a customer at several businesses in downtown Jacksonville Beach, and that's how several witnesses were able to identify her for investigators. The report actually says that she is employed by V Pizza right now. And this afternoon, detectives were still searching the area for evidence. 28 year old Akia Price making her first appearance before a judge the day after Jacksonville police say she shot and killed a man. Ma'am, you are charged with murder. Your bond is set at nine. Your next court date on the circuit case is going to be October 17th. Around nine o'clock Sunday night, officers were called for a shooting at Oku, a Japanese restaurant at First Street and Fourth Avenue. They found a man on the sidewalk bleeding from his head. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators interviewed several witnesses who reported they saw Price get into a physical altercation with the man. One witness told police they saw employees from Oku try to break up the fight. They said after that, the man ran across the street and Price followed him, according to the report. They heard several gunshots, then watched the man run back toward Oku and collapse on the sidewalk, bleeding. Another witness who personally knew the suspect says he saw Price shoot the man six or seven times and then leave the area. The victim told a witness, quote, Akia Price, Akia Price, she did this. Jacksonville police and a SWAT unit found Price at her home and took her into custody before 3 o'clock Monday morning. Investigators discovered one spent shell casing outside her front door, matching the other six casings found at the scene of the crime. First Coast News did reach out to V Pizza to ask if Price is still employed there, but we haven't heard back yet. And we do want to be transparent with you. We know the victim's identity through social media, friends and family posting. However, we are choosing not to identify him until we get confirmation through family or the police. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Cheyenne Cole, First Coast News on your side.